VinFast delays North Carolina EV plant to 2028 over economic headwinds and not any other reasons. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So, if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider giving us a super thanks to help us improve and bring you even more amazing content. We promise, we read every single one of your messages. The Vietnam-based startup automaker, already plagued with notorious reviews and scandals back home, is pushing back its U.S. factory. It was supposed to be the crown jewel of VinFast's global expansion. Now, the Vietnamese auto startup's $4 billion electric vehicle factory near Raleigh, North Carolina will not open until 2028, despite originally slated to be operating this month. The automaker blames economic headwinds and uncertainty in the global EV landscape. But as with most things VinFast, there's more to the story than that. On Friday evening, VinFast announced that it has made the strategic decision to adjust the timeline for the launch of its North Carolina manufacturing facility, pushing that target date back a full four years. Construction is currently on hold at the plant, which was said to one day build the three-row VinFast VF9 and five-seat VinFast VF8 electric SUVs. We have adopted a more prudent outlook that is carefully calibrated to near-term headwinds, taking into full consideration the realities of market volatility and potential challenges, Madam Tui Lu, chairwoman of VinFast Board of Directors, said in a news release. Our robust long-term strategy and proven execution capabilities position us well to meet the evolving needs of the dynamic global EV market. While it's certainly true that the global EV transition is more complex, costly and difficult than most automakers and governments had anticipated, and demand is proving to be uneven worldwide. VinFast has faced more headaches than mere economic uncertainty. The automaker has faced a slew of negative early reviews, allegations of impropriety in its home country, an investor lawsuit in the U.S. and serious quality issues as it seeks to be a major player in the space. VinFast emerged almost out of nowhere in recent years as the automotive arm of VinGroup, one of Vietnam's largest privately owned companies and a conglomerate with interests in smartphones, hospitals, hotels, retail, and more. Founded in 2017, it originally made gas-powered cars with help from General Motors and BMW before pivoting to EVs. It has since attempted a rapid global expansion and is deploying a lineup of electric cars at a record-setting place. Key to those ambitions is the U.S. market, which necessitated American production. The North Carolina factory was originally set to be a 995,500-square-foot facility aimed at bringing 7,500 jobs to the region in service of building 150,000 EVs per year. For such an ambitious plan, it was awarded some $1.2 billion in state and county incentives over the next few decades. However, as the Carolina Journal noted in a report this spring, construction had been paused at the site after VinFast submitted a new plan to Chatham County's government in December indicating the site would be considerably smaller. This change of plans led the county to review the permit request. No construction is being done until this permit revision is issued, a county official said at the time. Meanwhile, VinFast's sole offering currently for sale in the U.S., the VF8, has received unprecedentedly scathing reviews for a modern car. Critics dinged its ride quality, user experience, handling, and price tag. Inside EV's first drive test was merely headlined, yikes. The company has since relied mostly on influencer and social media marketing to reach American buyers. Globally, it still claims to have delivered 12,058 vehicles in the second quarter of this year alone and is on target to more than double last year's sales to 80,000. But that claim comes with some caveats. VinFast has been accused of selling most of its cars to a taxi service owned by VinGroup. And as Inside EVs reported earlier this year, some critics of the automaker in Vietnam have faced attention from the police under a law that punishes those who infringe upon the interests of the state, organizations, and individuals. Still, VinFast continues to debut new models, including the electric $9,000 VF3 city car that first appeared at CES. The company is either beginning sales or starting its expansion into Thailand, the Philippines, Europe, and the Middle East. But it's looking more and more like perhaps VinFast should have led with that vehicle in those markets before seeking to take the U.S. by storm. That's going to be years away now, if it ever happens at all, especially since current U.S. rules prioritize incentives for EVs built in North America. Meanwhile, the taxpayers of North Carolina, 
who were also promised thousands of new manufacturing jobs, are the ones left in the lurch. As the Carolina Journal notes, the state's transformative job development and investment grant has had a terrible track record, with most incentive recipients pulling out of their agreements with the state. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving us a super thanks. Your contributions make a huge difference and help us deliver even better content. So, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.